Hello Internet, I'm Guy. In my recent videos about the upgrades and modifications I did to my mini mill and mini lathe, um, I mentioned the tachometer that I've installed on both of these machines. I find it very useful to know the speed of the uh, spinning parts on these machines. I also have one on my drill press and one comes default on my woodworking lathe. I find it really useful to know what speed things are going. I, I'm a bit of a geek and I like to have information about as many things as I can get. So um, I thought I'd just do a quick overview of how I installed them and where I got them. If you search the internet, particularly on Amazon or eBay, you will probably find this particular tachometer, which is the one that I prefer. It comes in different colors, uh, red, green, and blue, and I've used all colors on my different machines. Here's the hookup diagram. Um, it's very easy to install, so let me show you some details about that. So here's what you get when you buy a tachometer off the shelf. You get the display, you get the sensor, and you get a magnet. That's it. So you have to provide your own wall power adapter and some way of getting the power out of it. I like this barrel female adapter to wire option here. Um, so give me a moment. I'm going to twist some wires together and show you how this works. So here I have the tachometer connected loosely with some twisted together wires. Basically what I have here is a 12 volt power adapter that's DC, not AC of course, coming through to a barrel adapter to two wires, red and black plus and minus 12 volts go into the display. Three wires then connect to plus and minus and also a sensor signal wire going to the sensor here. This is the tiny little magnet that they give you, which I don't like, so let's lose that because it doesn't give you enough range. Let me show you how this works now. If I wave my magnet near it like that, it's starting to trigger. There we go. You can see it. I'll get my hand out of the way a little bit. It's going to kind of show random numbers because I'm not going at a re repeatable speed. If you flip the magnet over the wrong way, it won't respond at all, so it has to have a north side facing the magnet. I mean the magnet facing the sensor. Uh, you can also turn it sideways, I've, I've learned actually. So if it's turning sideways like that, that will also work, but not particularly one particular axis. So if you look at the sensor end like this, every time the magnet goes by, if you have the magnet correctly oriented, you can see that little red light comes on. That's an excellent diagnostic to let you know that it's functioning. Here's the tachometer mounted in a plastic uh, hobby box, electronic box, right on top of my control panel for my mini mill. There's the sensor, and if I spin this around here, you can see that I JB welded uh, the magnet onto my pulley. I have the pulley drive upgrade from Little Machine Shop from my mini mill. This is the central machinery uh, mini mill from Harbor Freight. So this can be built, mounted any which way you want. You could use it on, on a magnetic surface and just stick it there, but I would recommend securing it with either JB Weld or Crazy Glue or something so it doesn't come flying off. So I can run it here and you can see it running and operating. It takes a while for the machine to come up to speed, but it also takes a little while for this to get sh to showing the accurate speed. So now if I stop the machine, you can see it'll just sit there and hold that speed for about 10 seconds before it shuts off, which is sometimes convenient and honestly sometimes a little annoying. Here's the tachometer mounted to the front face of the control box. This one is blue, they come in green and red. Um, the sensor is mounted right here onto a little bracket that's pretty easy to fabricate. And then if I turn this around, you can see that I glued a magnet right here onto the uh, mounting plate for the chuck. So as this goes past, you can notice a very slight change in brightness right here of the little LED on the back of the sensor. That verifies that you've got the right polarity mounting for the magnet here. So now let me run it up a little bit and you can see it showing actual speeds. It will actually detect speed up to 10,000 RPM, which I'm not going to do in front of you right now because it won't go that fast anyway. But there you go. On my small benchtop drill press, I have it wired in to the light switch. So the light is built into this particular drill press. And again, I've mounted the uh, tachometer directly into a little box, a project box, and hung it right underneath the belt drive cover here. If I start the machine, you can see it starts showing speeds. Let me show you inside the cover what, how I mounted the magnet. 
So here's the sensor mounted inside the cover of the belt drive system and every time a magnet goes by you can see a slight blink maybe in the LED there. Uh, so that's the sensor being detecting the magnet as it goes around. I can run the machine a little bit so you can see that. Pretty simple. All you have to do is mount a little bracket there. Thank you for watching. If you found this information useful or helpful, give me a thumbs up, a like, or subscribe, and uh, I will be producing more videos talking about my machines, how I use them, and what I'm using them for. I've got a couple of interesting projects coming up.